Hello. It's, it's been a while. I, I haven't been getting a lot of stuff recently. Um, like, not as often as I used to by far. Um, but, you know, I've still been getting stuff. And uh, having a slow stream means, like, when I get something I don't want to film immediately, you want to build up a little bit. And the end result is have way too much um, to film. But hopefully I can get most of the stuff out of the way today. And we'll see a path for that. Um... Hopefully the audio comes out all right. My phone has, um, hasn't been doing that well as far as headphones go. So hopefully the microphone wouldn't be too terrible, but we'll see. So yeah, this is the uh, new um, Walmart exclusive um, set. I, I haven't bought any of the other ones, but I think this one is really interesting. I do love Team Transport. I've been getting a ton of them. And well, this is part of it. It's really great because it's actually a direct re-release of the original set, which I never got because it was pretty expensive anyway. This is the Black Hole, um, ooh, what is this? The, um, Plymouth, right? Um, ooh, Plymouth Cosmo? Right, Plymouth, oh wait, no, this is not right. Oh wait, yeah, no, this is right. This is the uh, Supernova. This is the uh, Chevy Nova. Uh, Gasser Supernova. I'm not the biggest fan of Gassers, but I think they're pretty cool. And this set gives me quite a few Gassers I don't have to worry about ever again, especially because how expensive and how popular they are. Gonna adjust the lighting a little bit. Hey, this is much better. Um, do I have to hold this in my hand the whole time? I hope that won't be the case. Ooh, I like this. Um, yeah, so Black Hole is something that Hot Wheels has done on their own. It's not really based on a real thing, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get the uh, retro rig out of the way first. This is the unlicensed hauler. It's pretty nice. You know, it's kind of like a matte black. I do like this color, uh, black hole, which is a, a bit of a shame because Hot Wheels like these car culture and including uh, team transfer stuff are usually have like licensed livery, but this one doesn't, but it's all right. And I think uh, matte black is a better color. Um, it shows up the uh, better than like high gloss uh, black because it shows up the detail just ever so slightly better, but it just seems a little bland to me I do like the color black in real life, but on these models not the biggest fan Um, I assume a lot of you have seen this one already the supernova because like I said it came originally with the um, um Team transport set and this is a direct copy of that uh, Both this and the hollow R. so if you didn't have it just get the set and you're all gravy Which is great you can see the skinny tires up front the uh, raised uh, body, you can see black hole here, um, some um, good ears and um, some other stuff. Um, thick tires at the back, you can see um, good ears, Eagle, Chevy 1966, because this is a 1966 Supernova gasser, uh, some moon eyes, no more 66. Yeah, pretty cool. This is the chrome plastic engine part, it's the same as the, a, um, the roll cage at the back. Nice, and um, yeah, not too much to say. It's a pretty brilliant car, I think. I'm not the biggest fan of gasser, no real um, knowledge on gasser racing, drag racing, but it's really, really cool as a um, as a model slash toy. So, love this. Uh, next up is the, uh, this is the Plymouth, right? The Plymouth, um, no, the Mercury, wow, my brain, this is a Ford, right? Yeah, 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone, and how can you tell it's a Mercury? It's see a Mercury symbol right here, the um, chemical symbol, or the, um, um, shit, what you want to call it, I don't remember. But again, Black Hole Deco, um, com um, Comet, good years, thick tires at the back, no paint, uh, no printing, skinny tires at the front, no printing either. You can see the chrome engine piece, it's not, uh, it's interesting, this is an extra piece. So it's not part of the interior, uh, and you can see nothing else is chrome, so it's pretty nice that they put an extra piece here. And I think this one has only been released in um, premium, so uh, it makes sense that they actually cared enough to put an extra piece here. Really nice. I think this is definitely one of my favorite ones from this set. Well, I mean, they're all pretty great, honestly. Uh, yeah, a couple of them. Um, paint trashes, unfortunately, but it's Hot Wheels, so don't expect too much. These are not going for cheap and I don't have any Walmart next to me so I have to pay like the pre a bit more premium price but probably uh, not as much as a lot of other people did and I think for a lot of people the most interesting one well 
the more the most hype one will be the um Belar Gaster. I, I like Belar Gaster, but I, I don't get the hype around it. It's pretty cool. Um but I don't think it's, you know, amazingly so. You can see the chrome engine is a part of the interior. Uh, so this one actually only has four pieces and it goes all the way down here as well. Metal base, obviously, as everything else in the set. Um, so yeah, not too much to say. It's like, it's cool, but like people are willing to pay like a huge premium to get this. I don't really get it, but hey, you do you. Um, and I do have already a gasser from the past. Uh, I mean, a Bellar gasser, but honestly, this is my only other gasser anyway. And this is the one from the 2018 50th favorites. And I think, yeah, this one just looks better in general. I would just love it. So it's actually purple at the top instead of this lime green. I don't really quite get it, but yeah, just like more colorful, I think. Works a little better for me. But yeah, this is it. The um, gasser set. Oh, by the way, uh, whoopsie dupes. The. Um, the Bellar Gasser is a little wider, so it doesn't fit as nice. You can see it doesn't fit as nicely as it would uh, as the others do. Like the front tire is always like a little bit out of them, um, just a little bit too wide. And the um, where is the Mercury? Mercury fits pretty okay, yeah. But I think the one that fits the best is still probably the Supernova. But yeah, I think this is a great set. If you can find it in Walmart, absolutely. Um, even as someone who has no real interest in uh, gassers, I think um, this just fills that kind of like n collection niche. Um, they don't really have to worry about gassers again for a long time. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.